other white students are saying that our black students are overreacting. What, what's the big deal? What's the big deal? That's the question. Parents and former and current students at St. Francis Catholic High School staging a rally after a picture of a white student in blackface started making the rounds on social media. What's the big deal? We'll take a look. According to the Smithsonian's National Museum of African American History and Culture, blackface can be traced back to shows done by white performers in the 1830s. They would use shoe polish to darken their faces and put on tattered clothing to imitate slaves on southern plantations. The shows depicted black people as lazy and ignorant, and they were supposed to be a form of comic relief for white audiences. Of course, it wasn't funny then, and it's not funny now. That's the history of blackface in America. Black Americans being mocked for laughs. That's why when a student at one of the most prestigious schools in the capital city of California is accused of wearing blackface and mocking one of her classmates, it is a big deal. It begs the question, what is being taught in our schools? Do our students know that very hurtful and painful history? Take a look. A St. Francis spokesperson tells me the history of blackface does show up in 11th grade U.S. history and it is part of the California History Social Studies content standards. But guess what? These girls at the center of this controversy are currently in 10th grade. School leaders say they are now reviewing their curriculum. And believe it or not, it was just last year that Governor Gavin Newsom signed a bill making ethnic studies a requirement at California State Universities last year. We got to talk about this stuff. We got to tell our kids about all those downright hurtful things that happened in the not so distant past because here's the thing. We've all heard it said before. If we don't know our history, we are bound to repeat it.